In preparation to support a full-scale implementation of live remote head-to-head -head competition this season, the REC Foundation launched a test version of its new remote competition technology to support practice matches. Three schools were chosen to demo and test this new system. Greenville High School, Furlow Middle School, and Terrell High School. This proof of concept allowed three schools separated by as much as 40 miles to compete with and against each other for the first time. The REC Foundation will be integrating this new system with RobotEvents.com to support live, remote, head-to-head -head competitions for the VEX Robotics Competition and VEX IQ Challenge starting in early November. To get started, participants simply logged in at RobotEvents.com, selected their team from the drop-down menu, and were placed in the practice match lobby. The system then quickly guided them to set up their webcam, connect their V5 controller, select their program, and complete their field setup. After the system confirmed that they were ready, teams selected a practice match and then joined. After all teams joined and were ready, practice matches began. Here we are at the first ever remote live match. Practice match number one, it's three, two, one, and go. In the upper right hand corner for the Blue Alliance doing 360s, we actually had some movement for both of the 2148 teams from Greenville High School. Remember, these teams are separated by 45 miles right now in three different locations. And that is the end of Auton. At this point, every team is saying they are ready to go into driver control. We're waiting on one more team. And that is it. That starts our three, two, one countdown. The signal that just went out across all of East Texas and the world started all four robots at the exact same time. Distance was not an issue. And we just had 75-168 scoring a blue ball in the corner goal for a point. And it looks like they were able to seal an entire row there on the side of the 75-168 screen. In the meantime, on the blue alliance, so Terrell High School just fell over. We had a robot spill in the upper right-hand corner. We are down to 2v1 battle. So... The only school left for Terrell High School is at the middle school location, and our driver is making the best of it. Their alliance partner, 75160B, trying to pick up that red ball up against the wall, struggling to get it. They're gonna move past. Let's move over to the red alliance. 2148A on the upper left-hand corner has one ball in their intake. Looks like they're trying to get that second red ball, moving it over to the corner goal, and their alliance partners were actually about 50 yards away in a room on the other side of the building, same building, different room, scoring a red ball in that corner goal. That's good for a point. Now, it's hard for me to see from this angle if they've scored an entire row. Looks like they're going for the center goal. They've got the robot is hovering over it. They weren't able to get the ball out. Maybe they need that backstop for it to be able to guarantee that the ball does bounce off and roll in. They're backing off that one. We are in driver control, 45 miles separated. My name is Joe Bonney, and I am on VEX team uh, 4148. Before, I had a lot of questions on, you know, how is this all gonna move? Are we even gonna get an experience, like the VEX experience? But now, for sure, I know that we are. The competitive aspect of it is still there. You know, I still know that I'm competing against another team. It's going to allow teams to do much better being in their home environment. It's going to allow them to you know, program, have more time to prep, and give them better ideas. Don't worry, VexIQ teams. We will be using the same technology with two teams instead of four to provide a live remote practice system as well as a full live remote competition option, also coming in early November. And by the way, the same amazing experience from in-person VEX IQ and VRC matches will be available with our live remote system, including scheduling and scoring matches, having an announcer discuss your match live, remote inspection, and real-time rankings and match results. When the REC Foundation set out to make live remote competition accessible to all robotics enthusiasts in our programs, we wanted to keep the expense of participating to a minimum. Luckily, we were able to determine that almost any low-cost USB webcam with a minimum resolution of 720p would work. 
as long as it's on a seven foot stand removed about seven feet from the competition field to provide a complete view to all teams participating as well as referees. This system works on most laptops and also requires a USB to micro USB cable which we recommend to be at least six feet long. Stay tuned for game manual updates during the first week of October as well as our initial release of live remote practice matches on robotevents.com. Then join us in early November as we release our beta version of live remote head-to-head -head competition for the Vex IQ Challenge and Vex Robotics Competition. Don't forget, get registered today and join us at in-person competitions and live remote head-to-head -head competitions.